The Oscar class of 2023 came for a celebratory lunch and a Tom Cruise love fest for dessert. <laughs> Welcome everyone to entertainment tonight. It really was like Hollywood had a homecoming just for Tom. Mm -hmm. It looked like all the stars just couldn't get enough of Matt. Yes, and all the nominees made sure to get their moment with Oscar's Top Gun. I was like, was that Tom Cruise? No, that wasn't Tom. No, it wasn't. But and it was. And it was Tom. And I was like, oh my gosh, he's like the living son. We were thrilled he showed up. He's filming Mission Impossible. He's up against it, but it's so great that he really cares so much about Top Gun that he came uh, away from England. Long hair, tan skin, and a three-piece suit. Tom surprised everyone in his first major event in eight months. We see you whispering with Austin Butler, shouting up Michelle Yeoh, then cruising right into the iconic Oscar class photo. His arm around former Mission Impossible Fallout co-star Angela Bassett. Steven Spielberg praised Tom for ensuring the Top Gun sequel was released in theaters. Look closely, there's Michelle Williams seated in the front, just a few nominees away from Spielberg. Kate Blanchett is top left in the same row, a double fist pumping Brendan Fraser, and smack in the middle, a proud Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie also had her moment with Tom. She got a kiss on the hand and was clearly shocked and also starving. We fix that. I didn't eat. I'm I'm so happy. The first time nominee put down her slice to reflect on the monumental honor she might have missed out on if everything everywhere all at once shot away from home. I have a family. I have a dog. I have a husband. Notice the order that I said that in. And I don't mean that in any way disparagingly to my sweet husband. I have a life here and I have to leave it all the time. But because it was Los Angeles and Michelle Yeoh was gonna be Evelyn, I said yes immediately. Who do you bring Sunday? To the Oscars, I'm bringing my husband, Christopher Guest. Okay, and do you I'm know what you're wearing? I'm forcing him to go with me, poor guy. Do you have an outfit picked out? Do you have an outfit? A costume? Yes, Dad, I have an outfit to wear. And by the way, Mommy buys retail. Oh, yeah! Back on the carpet, it was a double dose of debonair when Austin also posed with fellow first-time nominee, Colin Farrell. Colin and his Banshees of Inishir and co-star Brendan Gleeson told me the day was one word, surreal. I don't know that anyone no. in that room actually believes that they deserve to be in that room. <laughs> there's a little bit of how did we all sneak in? Did there's, the, did the bouncer the... see me? It was a day date for Austin's Elvis director, Baz Luhrmann. He's nominated with his costume designer and wife of 26 years, Catherine Martin. I want to bring up Austin, his performance yeah, in Elvis. Sure. <laughs> I was not going to make the film unless I found someone who could play Elvis. Rightly so, Priscilla was quite cynical about how this young kid could in fact manifest her husband. And I'll never have a more nerve-wracking screening than when we screened it for Priscilla. She said, if my husband was here, he was a hot damn you army. You can't overstate the level of acting achievement for Austin Butler. Back inside, Ki Hui Kwan posed with everyone, everywhere, all at once, including Tom Cruise, his Indiana Jones director Steven Spielberg, Encino Man co-star Brendan Fraser, and Causeway star Brian Tyree Henry. I mean, it's just business. <laughs> you did this movie Causeway with Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence is very familiar with the Oscars. Yeah. When she found out, did she call you and warn you about tripping on any stairs? <laughs> she probably did tell me not to trip. When we were filming this movie, in between takes, she would always be like, you're gonna get nominated for an Oscar, and then just walk off. You get nervous about what else she's gonna have a premonition of. You gotta call her an Oscar. Because clearly her words have power.